have uh, the sexy kind of quiet uh, cancer going on there. In a minute it'll become very clear as to what you really don't want to do and where you don't really want to go. I don't want to be too looming, but we are talking about Pluto going for Aquarius for the next 20, 21 years and it is going to be a whole lot more than you've ever expected it to be. You are going to be like, wow, bless your heart, Paulina, but what the hell? Okay, so basically uh, Pluto does very good for you guys. He does very good with you because he knows you. Pluto is a uh, guiding planet for um, Scorpio and he is uh, happy there and also uh, you have the next sign to you Leo uh, sort of kind of Plutonian I believe Leo is a little bit Plutonian I don't think it's all Sun you kind of have the center of, of the solar system as your guiding planet but never mind that's enough that's enough for you guys, uh, in a moment, it's going to become very, very obvious as to what it's going to be and how come it is all like that. So I'm seeing you guys, you probably have a very, very big system of friends and very big conglomerate or a very, very good understanding of life. You probably have read a lot of books uh, by the time that Pluto came to Aquarius and you probably have made a lot of friends, friends online, uh, friends behind like scenes, you know, in your bedroom, like little clicks and friendships and things that you want to do later on and things that you want to do now. So there's really quite a garden of Eden there available to you already, but we don't want you to make it freaky and weird and unclean. So that's all about having nice, simple, normal friendships. Very weird for us cancers. So the idea is to have a normal uh, yes and no answer. Calling people up saying, hi, how are you? Do you want to see me today? Let's talk about you or let's talk about me. Let's have fun. And the friendship spectrum has to enjoy itself and it has to be... Uh, I'm so bored now. Yeah, 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 you can't get bored. Look, don't get bored. Let's make a nice friendship together. How about now? Hmm? Hey, friends. Okay, let's make a nice friendship between you and your mom, for example, or your parents. Uh, let's make a nice friendship between you and uh, the dog, the dog at your house or somebody else has around your house. Let's make a nice personal connection with this person, with that person. Learn to be a nice, fine, good looking, good feeling, good smelling, nice going, real, curious and normal person. That takes a lot of time. Some cancer like, oh, come on, come on, I'm not going to do that. I got this one guy on the phone, right? You gotta see this. And I'm like texting this other guy at the same time as he's talking. Haha. -ha. That's how I how I am. And well, you see, like, uh, we don't need that. And uh, most people will suffer because of some very small things that I really do now understand also for me as a person with some cancer concerning aspect that they've said and done. You've promised something and you didn't do it. That's never gonna come out in the wash. Like You've made a friend and you've uh, diluted the friendship or you've made them feel bad about who they are. Um, there are lots of people that can't be around you anymore uh, because that person has said something really mean about you behind your back, you know. Someone knows you have somebody in your house that you don't like. Then you have another guy on the go. Then you're thinking about somebody who's not even there. Like all of that, like try to tighten up on a simple, normal life and you will be saved forevermore from the deluge that is coming during Aquarius Pluto season so let's just look at this okay and how we're gonna do it is very simple now okay understand we're gonna do it very nice okay make friends and keep them you make a promise okay go do that okay um, Make a friend here, make a friend there, be nice and kind and simple and poised and gentle and generous and normal about probably everything that you can be nice and gentle and kind and peaceful and normal about without escalating, without hiding people behind closed doors, having like secret hanky-panky and like telling people like lies. And we have to get very, very nice and true to you. You are worthy. People like you. They're like, yeah, you want to come to my gig? You want to come to my party? Hey, you want to be a friend? Try to make it, even if it's a little late, even if you, maybe a little bit like me, I've also done it a little bit last year. Um, even if you've placed somebody down, if you made somebody low, if you've uh, made somebody feel uncomfortable or unhopeful about you, try to mend those friendships today. Hey, what's up? Haven't heard from you in a while. Are we still good? Okay, cool. Awesome. 
even if you don't like them. And then you have to see, okay, uh, I want to see that person, but really just like for like a three minute conversation, uh, I don't want to be around them. If you are feeling that, that's when you need to be okay with that. That's a three minute conversation person. Don't be afraid. Um, it's not a best, it can't be any more than you can give. How you're doing it is fine. Just be it. Be an all right friend. Like that's the whole thing. That's the whole freaking thing. Be an okay person. Be an all right friend. Make sure that you are not asking for things all the time. Making sure that you are doing things for free. Um, meaning well. Uh, having parties. Having people come to your house. Sharing some food. Understanding who people are and who they were. Make a day in the week like a Saturday. And have a big pot light. Pot light? Pot luck, sorry, light. <laughs> pot light, pot light. Have a pot light. Have a uh, place where you see people and each time you see them, you say something nice to each other and you let them go. Like, okay, cool, people come, I shake their hands, I see their faces, I make a family or a friendship. And then, okay, you don't have any people around you, I doubt it. I think that you probably definitely have at least somebody else that really knows you, even a next door neighbor or a person that shares your floor in the apartment block where you live. And the whole point basically is to be not so stupid, like later on, okay, uh, not count on these people necessarily, is just um, recognize maybe there's going to be a very deep change in your system and in your body if you can just plug into people on a nice normal level. A lot of the stuff is psychosomatic issues, like, you know, like, huh, you know, like friendships, not friendships, you know, this and that, you know, all of this shit that happens in your brain, in your body, and you might think, oh, I got a bit of Asperger's, or I have, like, it's, it's, okay, it's enough of that now, okay, I've got this, I got that, my mother was mean to me, whatever, uh, you will work it out if you just share some space, um, there is a way that people share space in uh, a newer community, okay, in uh, ancient communities, um, they just sit next to each other and they just share like a meal, they don't have to advertise anything, don't advertise anything anymore, ah, you guys, hi guys, what's up, D don't do that, don't be slutty like that, it's uh, energetic badness, uh, it's more like about making friends, like, hey, hey, okay, we're eating together, then you notice how they eat, then you notice, like, say, how they talk, even if they don't say a lot. It's not about being entertainers. It's just about knowing what people are. Little things like body language. Like people sitting like this or people sitting like this. Everybody that is around you is speaking constantly. as a universe of information. And you will get very well, very young. Very employable. Okay. For the job hunters out there. Very good looking. For the vein. And very kind hearted. For the unpeaceful, uh, when you get yourself together with just some people, and maybe everybody's your freaking twin flame, okay? Maybe every single person is really worth something, and uh, maybe it's banal, uh, what they're doing, what they're talking about, but at least they're fine, and uh, inevitably starting to integrate into such a nice community member yourself, making yourself so nice and simple and poised and also maybe yeah sure a little extreme sometimes in your judgment sure a little bit bad with your ego sometimes yeah yeah you don't have to be a, a like a total god um it's just more about um trying to be you and creating a nice sense of normalcy and non-addictive behavior nice simplicity nice symmetry between the many different people in your world and inevitably starting to get things right oh ha 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 Ah, you know, like all of these energies, uh, they eventually start to become uh, regulated and you're like, wow, I didn't actually think I could public speak before this moment. Or, wow, I didn't actually think I could just like be a mum. Or like, I'm actually a really good carer. Or like, I, I'm actually a really good person. It won't be for you to do certain things anymore. So this is why I'm doing this for you. I'm trying to help you understand how uh, Pluto and Aquarius will work for you this time. It's going to be so easy to get things done. Right now you're like, oh, it's all me. I have to do everything. I can't trust anybody. Nobody knows who I am. I haven't had, like, say, good sex in a while. Or I haven't had the best friend. Like, I haven't, 
I haven't, I haven't got, I haven't gone where I wanted to go. I didn't do what I wanted to do. Like you might be feeling a lot of feelings of not necessarily anxiety, but like, well, what's the use? What's the worth? Or like, how am I going to get there? Other people are unconsciously and sometimes very consciously and obviously going to help you get your way out of life, out of one situation into another. Like they're helping you. It's like, have you ever tried to put pants and shoes on a toddler? Yeah. Yeah. That's going to be part of the game for you this time. It's like being a toddler yourself and having somebody put pants and shoes on you and lacing up those those laces. Now you see you have to stop being wanted for stuff and play like I've got the sacred fruit. It's like, you know, Adam and Eve, you know, Eve with a with with a fruit you know I've got the fruit uh, you know it's like the seduction it's like do did you want that now you know it's like people don't care um, I think somebody else might but you don't necessarily want that in your life it's like more about also coming off your high horse and uh, guiding somebody else through some bad shit you know it's like when we get old and also when we were young we were helpless we, we are gonna get one day probably not everybody but some people are going to get very helpless eventually when they're old. Imagine somebody like mopping up your spills. You know, you have to go to the bathroom. You know, you can't get out of bed. Imagine, you know, so let people do that for you now so that you have uh, more dignity later in life. How does that work? No, it's really hardcore, right? That's hardcore. Oh my God, nobody wants to talk about that stuff. Oh, we got nursing homes for that. No, we don't actually. Uh, here in Peru, there's very little of that. Uh, nobody really knows what's going to happen in the future. Even if you live in the most flowering city in the world. Uh, I'm just letting you know. Okay, get yourself together by knowing other people. Relating to other people. Recognizing one another. Safely, consciously crossing certain boundaries that you've put up. And then also, you know, making certain other boundaries maybe for certain other behavior. So you're making yourself a little team and a very nice healthy family. They can take care of you later. Yeah, like say it's not necessarily like this, but okay, you help them with their children. You know, when you are like say 90 years old and you like freaking don't remember what day of the week it is or what is it, what, what's going on, like at all, you can't even imagine nothing. That person's gonna bring you a freaking cup of tea and maybe wipe your butt. But okay, what I mean is like, um, Society and community, what gives a better karma later in life when we can't help ourselves is each other. If you invest in somebody else's children now, if you invest in somebody else's projects today, if you help other people grow, if you help yourself integrate into a community and find yourself better family members and homes and systems, you're not going to be lonely later on. You're not going to be thinking in terms of numbers like, I'm just going to be this freaking fashion statement today. I'm going to like blow some smoke up their ass, get paid, and then that money is going to go into my bank where nobody goes except for me. So security, it's not going to be that bad. Um, I do talk about security in the main video, but it's not just about this. Place that stuff away, like wiggling your way around life. I'm going to wiggle myself around this person and that person and this person and this person. I'm going to keep many secrets and I'm going to say nothing. I'm gonna get my way, get out. Um, so we don't want to have those types of people in uh, our communities anymore. We don't want these community members that eventually get tired of us if we don't give them what they want also. So where you are, there's probably like, for example, 20 people that you can be friends with and only five of them will actually work as uh, true friendships. So that's basically about tuning out of also me and other online displays uh other people uh, professors or whatever you know like and making yourself uh open to teaching and learning from them and letting their group not necessarily control but raise you into a different person so this is where the group consciousness raises you yeah into a completely new uh, person so that means that where your values are depends on the group for example in your group there's five buddhists and to Christians and maybe between uh, these people and yourself you will make yourself strong through those beliefs and systems and they will lace up your shoes and put on your pants whatever I said before in a different way than say community like the one that I would be in you know I'm not telling you that that's a better or worse way it's just a different way of life 
And also some of the time, the people that you are hard laced with, that you get by with and you make a closeness with, you become a like to. So let's go to the other extreme. The other extreme is cancer that wants to do whatever the F he or she wants. Can't tell me how, can't tell me why, can't tell me where and what for. I'm all there is baby and yes of course that's really nice that's cool cancer as well that's really nice uh, then you basically get interrupted by energies like you get all these handprints on you like how many lovers would you go through in five or six years how many lovers uh, or friends or interactions would a uh, general person like yourself go through and then all of those you can't get rid of them it's just like it's like a trap kapkan they say kapkan um, in Russian so it's like you might get into a trap. We don't want you to get into a trap. Don't get into don't don't get trapped. Uh, the idea basically is to be strong and to be loyal and to be true and to be fortunate and to understand where your fortunes lie and also how other people perceive you. And then eventually inevitably working out of there. So that's the next while. So this is probably like the majority of Pluto and Aquarius, I mean, what else can I say? Um, it's all going to be trusted and nurtured if you are just well enough to provide and to respect and to accept another person, what they've got to give. It's all just about sharing bread, what you eat, where you show up. If you are part of a vegan future, vegan community, kudos to you. And uh, if you are, like, say, part of, like, a movie-watching community, okay. Uh, if you are part of a sporting community, oh, not bad. You know, thumbs. Um, if you are wearing your face on the outside, if you are making friends externally, I don't know. So we want to get bonds. Uh, out of all of this, basically, you want to get bonds. And also, if you're later in years, like, say, you are watching this in your 70s, okay uh or even later why not um it's very good to be so nurturing calm and quiet and to define your edges and to erase those sharp corners that you had before for example where once before somebody would make you cry and get angry like in front of everybody like you want to take care of that and make a nice sense of respect guidelines and um, yes I'm going to go there religion Christianity um, certain types of uh, Arab groups as well uh, Hinduism sure there are a lot of us that have taken on uh, religious maybe even secret or silent religion you know religious uh, routes because we don't want to um, experience chaos anymore so if you want to you can change it's not about uh, taking a bible and pushing it into people's faces uh, this time around it's not necessarily about that it's not about um, getting tattoos or reading the Quran or I don't know like wearing burqas or anything anything but it can also be that it's just about a nice faithful core and yes if you want to bypass a lot of what I'm saying is maybe about religious systems and spiritual systems and having certain conducts with friends and family that can take you there in a belief system or a certain type of behavior that is a constant guarantee of peace of wealth of success of harmony and care understanding and equivalence equality and uh, this is where probably a lot of the governments are trying to go eventually in the end and yes it is uh, going to bring about a bout of puritanism and a bout of uh, wealth to only some people some groups and some global conglomerates and a lot less for others but it is going to be about staying wealthy healthy and not shady and not bad and not sad and not negative not um, scared eventually later on uh, when you are an older person because we are wanting things to also leave you in a way that you know are not going to be healthy eventually for you for another person like psychosis like a reckless or irrelevant behavior like drinking like wars like um, extreme sexual or emotional obsessions and possessiveness um, because it's just not fun anymore it's not fun anymore maybe it's still fun now but by 90 uh, sorry 19 uh, by 2046 is going to be very unfun 
to be there with you next to you if uh, there is uh, no need for it now right now I don't want to get into scary stuff uh, if there's anything going wrong if there's anything going down um, the idea is that on a larger scale uh, nervous and chaotic people are just not going to be missed in uh, Pisces Pluto is going to be hard to idealize and to question or to even keep beside an angry, agonizing, uh, freakish, uh, nervous, displaced or tortured person. Um, so try to take a look at you and if you can basically uh, lower, lower certain things that are too high and hide on certain things that are too weak. And also don't be afraid to ask for help. So it's like, for example, lowering cortisol levels. If you have excessive, I don't know, progesterone or like testosterone, it's like, uh, it's, it's about lowering levels of like your voice, lowering like how much money you start trying to spend or make, Lo lowering, lowering, like lowering uh, all of that anger, fright or dependencies, lowering that threshold into a nice neutral. And then trying to raise up, now that's hard, it's also hard for me, like say, okay, I need to grow some muscle, okay, I need to grow some of this or that, I need to become a little bit more kind, or I need to become a little bit more spaced, or I need to become a little bit more open, open-minded, okay, great, I need to hide in that, I need to study a little bit, or I need to be a little bit less uh, jealous, okay, or I need to be a little bit less judgmental, okay, cool. So you're cooking yourself up a little nice heaven, and then eventually, uh, probably not that much can go wrong. So that's the idea, and even if things get weird or crazy in the external world, it's not going to be that bad a time. Uh, but not uh, everybody wants that. People want uh, crazy shit, and sometimes crazy shit happens. Like, say, I want an amazing amount of money. And then, like, that's a huge, like, threshold of karma. And then what's on the other side? This? Stability? I don't think so. And uh, a lot of people will be chasing their tail, so just don't be one of those people uh, these days. And uh, make sure that you wake up other people as well. So if you found yourself, like say, a little community of gardeners or of philosophers, or if you found a little community of, I don't know, that reads books or talks about God or ancestral pathways, uh, make it okay that other people can follow it too, so don't close up. You know, so it's uh, not necessarily about pushing your faith out there to the limits, but some people can also do that. Some people can also prophesize. It's just important that you keep yourself nice, good, and neutral without going into that. Ah, you know, so you don't want to go. You don't want to go up because that's also going to go down. So it's just about keeping things nice and normal. And if you can take it, if you can hack it, if you can make it on this level, uh, a lot of other people probably will also be able to follow you there. Thank you very much. And to all of those uh, superficial cancers too. Yeah, superficial cancers. If you don't want to do anything that I'm saying, uh, don't worry. Basically, just about keeping things together. That's the whole thing is just about that for this time around. Thank you.